1945, the war was winding down, and my dad um, was a tool and die maker. Uh, I was on the way. I was born in 45, and he needed some extra income, so he was doing some job shop work on the side. He ran into an old high school friend, and they started Wiscon with three other guys, and uh, progressed from a one room, 180 square foot shop to uh, this building in 1957. And one of the proudest moments was uh, when I was able to turn the company over uh, to the third generation. One of the interesting things about Wiscon is that yes, we do focus in our core is on complex engineer components from bar stock, but we also have a wider range of secondary operations, including grinding, gear hobbing, uh, machining centers for manifolds or, or any of that type of work, secondary type work. We do thread rolling. We support our customers through su supplier management from heat treating, plating, painting, and any outside operations that we might not handle in house. Most of the parts we make at Wiscon are highly complex. All the parts are significantly engineered. So numerous features, milled features, drilled features, angle holes. We've got parts with 85 different holes, angle holes in them that not everybody can do. And we found that that's kind of our niche. The more complex the component is, the more, the more successful we can be on it. So I think it was 2007 that we, we purchased our first index multi-spindle. We had a great project for it. We were, we were touching apart six times. Uh, a family of parts we were touching six times and they come out of the machine complete now. So they would come off of a cam screw machine. Then we would finish turn them because the finishes were horrible. Then we'd put a square on them in a, in a mill. And then we would take that part and we would gear hob it. Then we would put that part into a, a drill fixture and drill a small hole. And in between, we'd wash that part twice. Whereas uh, today, we set that job up once. It takes about two hours to set it up. Before we were running them in an MX MS-52, we were touching these parts six times with a total tack time of two and a half minutes. Whereas today, it's about 28 seconds. We have significant amount of customers that have come to us because we have index equipment. To us, they're the gold standard of, of equipment that we want to run. I don't think I have any parts out there that I could manufacture the way that we do and the speed and accuracy that we do without the next equipment.